Throws you so far. You just, your guy's just like, holy shit. What's up guys, my name is Calm, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and you'll probably notice for the next video I'll be in the exact same clothing. That's because I'm actually recording them both right now. Um, I got a little bit ahead of myself now for one, so you will see the next one come out tomorrow for sure. Um, and I'm trying to make sure I always stay a little bit ahead of schedule. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed in the social media, but uh, the new BattleBots season is coming out, BattleBots season two, which is actually like the newer season two of the newer BattleBots. There was really, really old BattleBots way back in the day. Um, but the newer season is coming up and one of my favorite battle bots was actually Bronco if you guys watch the show and basically it's a bot with just a really powerful flipper on the front. In Scrap Mechanic one of the biggest problems is um, you can't really flick stuff very aggressively like this for example is a solid steel block and you can see I'll, I can drill right through it I can pick any spot to drill through it doesn't matter. If you were to try and lift this with a controller it wouldn't really work. Um, you can try with like a single bearing. You need multiple bearings and controllers are generally really slow. They don't give you that really aggressive flipping action. If you have a controller and you tell it to move to let's say 90 degrees or 180 degrees or whatever, but you block its path, it can't get there. But what'll happen is it'll jam up against that block. Now, as soon as you remove that block, it'll go instantly from zero to whatever the heck you set it to. Tiny, you can't interrupt me when I'm filming. Um, so I built two, two versions of Bronco, we'll call it. This is version one. Now, version one uses six bearings. They both drive with the tank drive, um, WSAD, six electric motors, triple bearings on each wheel, gives it the, the tank steering and capability. It's not exactly quick, but it's very, very heavy, uh, mainly because it needs to be. And so you can see if I dry run the flipper, it's, it's pretty aggressive with six bearings. I mean, it flips pretty aggressively. As you can see, it tossed that wood block pretty high up in the air. I mean, it's not too bad. Um, when I got to the metal block though, I wasn't nearly as impressed. I mean, it's, it's you know, against the metal block, it just, it kind of works, but you can see not, not really that impressive. I mean, it barely lifts it off the ground and I can try and flip it. And you gotta hold the one button, that's your flipper. And you can see, you know, it it almost flipped them, but it just didn't have enough to really to flip it over. And that is a heavy bot. Like this thing is solid metal. There is there's a bunch of connections, but it is solid metal. Um, so Bronco version two. So apparently I'm not allowed to film today because my cat is being a pain in the ass. Come here, come here. Say hello to everybody. Hi everybody. This is Tiny. Yeah. That's, that's what Tiny has to say. Bronco version two is a lot tougher, um, a lot heavier, like a lot heavier. We'll just fill this back in. So I've left it a little bit more exposed here on the front. You can see those two pipe pieces flip in and that's what actually holds the controller back. And then all 10 bearings, it's really, really quite simple. So if I take it away, I'll show you real quick. If I take away the side sections, which you actually need, you can see these are just staggered arms. And there's, there's two at the top that connect it, two underneath the middle, and then three more underneath the sides. That's why it needs this connection piece. It needs these side pieces here. All 10 bearings go through one controller, and all 10 bearings are set to go to 90 degrees, even though they can't make it there. But it will try and force, you can see the bearings, boom. Bronco version two is an aggressive, aggressive robot. So again, same idea, tank drive, steering, uh, flipper on the front. I did four wheels on each, like two wheels on each side, the dualies, just because I found it more stable. But Bronco versus the wood block, I mean, it's it's just gone. And it actually lands. That's kind of awesome. Like, really? Did I just trick shot a wood block? So I did do a BattleBots live stream a long, long time ago. Um, it actually came up on my Twitter feed today that the new BattleBots season was starting and I got super excited and I was like, I really wonder if you could make a pneumatic flipper. And then it got me thinking of that Rube Goldberg from yesterday and I was like, you know what? I can totally do this. And boom. Land it, land it, land it. Oh, it was so close. Back up a little bit, turn a little bit. There we go, go to the center. So you can see there, it still doesn't lift it all the way up, but it is enough to flip it over itself and... Are you serious? 
No way. You gotta be kidding me. Bronco trick shotting metal cubes. Every day, all day. I'm gonna see how long that stays balanced. I'm gonna try not to touch that. So I'm gonna take, take Bronco version one. So this is a very heavy robot as well. Um, the entire core is metal. There's obviously there's light bricks on the outside here, but the entire core is metal. You can see the double, triple bearing system set up there. Um, and same thing with this robot. But if I go in here and I try and flip it, it actually can do it. And the idea is that if your buddy makes a robot, obviously it's not tossing it up in the air the same way it does with the wooden block, but if someone makes a robot and you come up to them and you just, you know, pull one of these, like, you're, you're totally screwed. I don't care who you are. Like, you're on your side now. And the cool thing about this Bronco, it's got tons of power. Like, it'll, it'll really lift itself. Boom! Flip it right over. So you can see it's it's got a hefty punch. Um, it's still balancing. That's amazing. So I'm really excited by this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to build other robots or not yet. Um, again, I really I just saw the BattleBots trailer and I thought you know I really have to build Bronco and I've got to make it cool. I might make a few others. It's just got power. Like it's got lots of power. I just flip that bot back over. Just you know, flip it again lots and lots of power that's pretty awesome so anyways guys uh i'm gonna probably work on a few more battle bots as i watch the season um if i see one that i really really like um i don't know if i'm gonna do an arena yet i'm really kind of waiting to do another battle bots thing when they have collision physics because um, once they have some sort of destruction physics, it'll really make the spinners and stuff have more of a chance when you see, you know, all these creations getting smashed to pieces. If you guys like this video, of course, hit those buttons down below. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. I super appreciate that. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.